So in this video, I'm inside the Justa Lab. Hey everyone, uh, just Baron here. Um, this is going to be a very interesting video in that I'm going to be showing off something I've been working on for the last couple of months. It's my home lab. So that's my parrot. Um, and it's thoroughly facilitate new YouTube videos and also um, private jobs I've been working on with regards to electronics and microprocessors and embedded systems. Um, something I'm really happy with how it came out. It's basically 84 square foot of my paradise. That being said, I hope you enjoy. I hope the room gives you ideas on how to do your own lab at home or even ideas to improve your own home lab. As always, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you like the content, subscribe. And this is just Baron, and I do just about anything you can do yourself. Come on in. Watch your step. So what's up everyone, this is the Just A Lab, um, it's my new Just Baron Studio slash, um, well this is where I'm going to be doing most of my new projects, whether it be private or for YouTube or you know personal projects. Um, it's a 7 feet by 14 foot room, well actually I think it's like 6 feet by 14 foot, um, but it has pillars and stuff that reduces the size, um, it's like it's like almost like a shipping container, but I mean it's, it's, it's my happy place, it's, it's my new home. I even have a sleeping bag here. The, the floor is rubber. So, so it's a really, really nice room. So I'm going to give you guys the grand tour in just a bit. Um, one thing I'm also going to be doing while I'm doing the tour is I'm going to be using the, the Keysight University. I'm going to be using the Keysight University score sheet to kind of give my lab a rating at the end. It's going to be out of 79. And they have a bunch of things that you should have in your lab. Psh, don't tell me what to do, Keysight. Right? But please send me free stuff. Um, and I'm going to give myself a score at the end of it based on all the things I have in my room. So like they have like, you know, five extinguishers with 10 points, a uh, few extractors with three. So I'll probably put a link to it in the description below so you guys could read your lab. And then also let me know in the comments below what your lab is, um, what score you got for your lab. So one of the cool things about this lab actually is I have lights, um, these real lights on top and I put demos in them so I can actually like adjust brightness in the front and the back right to give me more light by my desk or more light in the back 
so let's kick start this lab tour but first let's talk about safety so obviously my lab is equipped with a fire extinguisher that will be able to handle liquids electrical equipment trash wood and paper right and above that we have our first aid kit um next to that is the we have my component bins so this is like hardware related stuff so this will be like my um, tech point screws, my gypsum screws, drill bits, um, wall plugs, any kind of hardware related stuff. It's going to be in these bins here. Um, below it right here is the actual electronics bins. So here I have like my, um, my variable resistors, um, LEDs, anyone? <laughs> um motors relays like all kind of electrical components electronics stuff here um like i have integrated circuits so these are like my i'll have like up arms here i will have um logic ic's here some optocouplers here you know a bunch of again a, b a bunch of stuff but these are all um 2.5 millimeter nail connectors right so that's this here, um, moving around, let me bring this back up, I'll obviously have my AC remote because I, I have an AC in here, well it's a portable AC right now but I will get a split unit later on but this works really fine for me right now, actually I'll come back around to this. So let's move around to like my favorite place which will be behind me here, so I'm just going to get a wide pan, right in the corner here is my, this is basically the chair for any guest that comes to the lab <laughs> so it's a small chair and next to it is the dustbin you must have a dustbin for your lab right and moving across here um i know i'm sorry for the hand holding but i don't have anybody else to kind of hold my camera for me so um across here i have my air compressor and above that we have the drill press so as we go across to my favorite area across here right so drill press five speed right with a safety right because can't come on if the safety is here by the way this is probably like one of my most use used tools in here i love it so much i have my dimmers here right so i can control everything here my plug grounded setup um and then here i have my cutting mat and then component bins here so these are really really cute so i have like radio power audio leds um logic level converters leds um like dc to dc converters so a lot of a lot of cool stuff here um ic's and stuff uh i have my fleur thermal multimeter right so that's a thermal camera on this right really really cool stuff um i actually so I actually got this multimeter from um, KVR Energy Limited locally. A really good place to get all your FLIR camera and thermal equipment. I will link them in the description below. And um, I got a really good deal in this. And this also has a voltage detector in it. Yeah, I can like voltage detect and put it there. And it detects voltage is present. And the really cool feature of this is it also has a thermal camera on it. So I can actually just like flip this over here and there's a thermal camera well that's my hand in front of it so so really really cool multimeter and um i recommend to get a rechargeable battery with it um but i'll put that link in the description below also you can get that from kvr energy limited so thanks for that hookup kvr um, um so a lot of cool stuff here water obviously all is dehydrated this is the cutting mat this is the <laughs> Everything electronics labs needs, but I will link that also. Cell phone, which acts as my calculator, right? Um, across, I have like my hardware kind of tools. So hammer, I have my um, jeweler saw, screws, voltage detection tool, silicone, um, super glue, and all these things, level scissors. I actually have my laptop here. This is actually a laptop that is, um, this laptop, is actually laptop I started university with. It's probably over 11 years old um, and it still works really, really well. And I actually have that connected to 
this here, which is a next laptop screen that I modified to be a TV, right? So in the back there, you can see how all that electronics is wired up there. Right? So um, if you guys want a video on how I did that, that's, that's a, that could be another cool project. Um, behind me, obviously, is the door. I want to make a fingerprint entry for this in a video. Um, not sure I'm going to about, go about doing that just yet, but stay tuned for that. Um, moving across here, I have my oscilloscope. Um, it's a Hantec 200 megahertz. I love this oscilloscope because it has um, a USB thing here to capture um, any images. I could actually take a screenshot of the screen on it. Here, I have my wires. And this is actually a magnetic. So like this could actually come out here. It's like a magnetic rod. And then I feed that through the work control sensors. So I kind of pull on this very easily. So you can see this is actually a magnet. And I could just pull these through and cut my wire to my different lengths very easily. Underneath here, I will have my probes and some alligator clips. I have the internet in the back there. That's my router. Um, my recent drone, which I have yet to set up, hopefully sometime soon as COVID restrictions get lifted. Um, obviously, must have your rubbing alcohol, yeah, electronic contact cleaner, my Arduino. Um, going down, I'll come back down to the bottom there. I have my DIY drone, my Trinidad Tobago flag, um, my cordless drill, solar, crimping tool, crimping tool. This is um, heat tape. Cap, cap on tape, right? All my soldering equipment, soldering tools. I have a next multimeter here, right? For my solar station. I have my DIY digital power supply, right? This can output 32 volts at five amps, right? And it's digital, right? I have my, this here is my fume extractor, right? With a light underneath it, right? Um, and these are my alligator clips. These are my helping hands. I have a solder mat, solder tools, um, solar station in the back here. Right? Uh, my Werner caliper, my PCB cooling equipment. This is how I store all my USB cables, right? Um, this is just a way to get them easy access. And yeah, so, so now we're going around to the shelving part of it. So in the back there, I actually have the um, battery for my electric bicycle, which I'll be trying to do hopefully before the end of this year. I have a bike in the back there. So, um, electric bicycle is definitely a project I want to be doing sometime this year. Um, I have my cordless vacuum, solar station. These are more component bins, but these are for actually like development boards. So I have like all my ESP32s, um, my Arduino bigger boards and stuff, Arduino Dues and stuff here. What is this? Arduino Dew. And that stuff here. On top of here, I have screens. These are all finger keypads. Right. More development boards. And <laughs> more stuff, like really. And remotes. Up top here, I have batteries and a bunch of battery stuff. Some old projects. Um, at the bottom here, I actually have a electric bicycle wheel. I have power supplies in the back there. Power bins. Uh, this is an old CNC milling tool that I need to try to fix out. So my lizard are guns, um, resistors, capacitors, heat tube, jumpers, crimp tools, standoffs, right? These are epoxy, right? I have solid state relays. So yeah, so these shelves, I actually build them myself. Um, these are premium shelves that you can just buy at the hardware store. And then you buy these, um, you buy a panel in the back to go, and then you crimp these things on it, these um, shelving tools. And I think it works really, really well. I had to do three, just to make sure that it has the even support, because you need to have like, like two foot in between, four feet long and four feet long and one foot wide. And I left a six inch on the outside, right? And yeah. So I have my Dremel here, drone stuff. Um, this is my PC repair kit, which is actually on the list of things a lab needs, which also has the, let's call this thing, 
tweezers. Right. I'm, I'm not sure what, what, what numbers I'm on right now in terms of um, how much points I have. On top of here, I have all these storage bins that has like a bunch of stuff. I went mad with my label maker. My baby right here. Sorry. This is my label maker. As you can see, I have PCB stuff, lights, LEDs, bicycle stuff, um, circuit boards, servo, cooling fans, safety glasses and masks, very important to have safety glasses, power supplies. This whole box here is just dedicated to e-bike stuff, um, step up moto. So a lot of you actually probably don't know that I actually have made two e-bikes in my life so far, but not one for personal use. So I want to convert one of those bikes in the back there to an e-bike. Um, so yeah, now I have my merch, my merchandise here, you can see. Right here I have my camera equipment and stuff. So I have, these are my lighting panels, right? Um, spray gun for the compressor, hat hat obviously, safety first. All right, so let's move further down to the back of the room. So that's gonna be here. Um, so this is actually gonna be like the yard stuff, um, electrical cords. This is actually a painting rod here that was broken. And I basically strapped it along two hooks to basically hook everything on it. So this is like just one long pole rod that just has everything clamped onto it. Um, I thought that was a pretty good idea that I did, right? These are gladiator mounts, right? Gladiator shelf. And this is what all these hooks here are for, for the tools. Right, so that's a gladiator mount running the back there, a gladiator mount running the back there. Um, what I did for this wall here is to actually put some bungee cords in between two hooks. So what happens now is you actually have like a place where you can actually store stuff and then it doesn't, it doesn't pull out because the bungee cord keeps it in place, right? So it's a nice, nice hook area there. So, and then I have all my bike helmets, um, two bikes, road and mountain bike. This is a remote control car, which is going to be a project I'm going to be working on just now. Yeah, so, so it doesn't work and I don't know why, but uh, my dad wants me to fix it so he can have a toy. Heading across on this side here, I have a shelf in the back here that is for 3D printing, filament and some miscellaneous stuff. Um, these are some plexi sheets I got from inside some TVs, right? I have my 3D printer and this is my... 3D printing case that I made, so I'll probably link that video also in the description below. Now, I did some upgrades to this 3D printer where I added a vent to vent out any extra air out. Um, and some other upgrades I did that I will probably cover in a future video. Um, I have some more drones on top of here that I'm gonna, I need to fix for some clients. Um, yard stuff, and then my AC unit that also vents outside. Um, yeah, so the reason why I have this portable AC unit inside of here versus like a split unit is I need to do over some of the electrical here to handle that. It needs to get a 220 run to this room and right now I only have 110. Um, so definitely something I want to work towards also is having a split unit and get rid of this so I could have more space in here. But this does a really, really good job right now cleaning the room. Um, it's a cleaning room, but it does a really good job in cooling the room. Um, it's a 12,000 BTU if I remember correctly. So it does a really, really good job. Um, and again, it's just really just a cool room because it gets really hot. As you can see, I would normally have the AC on, but because of the noise, I, I'm kind of started to sweat in the room. Um, obviously, good to all us have a vice, vice grip. But we've been here before, so you just, we just made the full circle of the room. So obviously, this is the high extinguisher. Um, I have some drawers I made here underneath here, using baking pans. So, screwdrivers, pliers, and clamping stuff, chipping and cutting stuff. Um, then I have more 3D printing stuff here, electrical bins, bunch of bins here to really just, um, to really just allow the room to be fully maximized in terms of storage. And obviously the floor is, the floor is rubber. So you can see it's like this kind of gym flooring thing. Yeah. So, and then, well, did I forget anything? I'm not sure if I forgot anything. I'm not sure if I forgot anything. Um, these also have, I have daylights and then I have white lights. That could also be, um, sorry, I just fly. 
that I can also control and dim. So, and last but not least is a comfortable chair. So, yeah, I think I think that's 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 it all. Um, if you have any questions or anything you want to know extra about my room, you can let me know in the comment section below. I will be happy to help anyone with any questions or any comments about my lab. If you have any suggestions to add to this place uh, or better ways to maximize this space, I am all ears. Um, but I won't lie, I'm really, really happy with how this lab came out. I, I, I can't, it's, I mean, you, I would put li li pictures of how it used to look before, like now, and you would see the big improvement it was. Um, so yeah, I, I think I think I covered everything. Um, I obviously have wire strippers, wire cutters. I have my hot glue gun right here, right? And it's magnetic. Wire clippers, wire strippers, there. Um, so I'm just going to go over the lifts, so calculator check, fire extinguisher check, hot, hot air rework. Well, I, have a, I have a heat gun that does that I use for any kind of hot air rework, but I don't have a hot plate and I'm not sure if to classify that as a rework station. Function generator, I don't have a function generator. I, I don't really see the point in it because a lot of my stuff I do is with like Arduino or microcontrollers and I could always just get another microcontroller to output any signal that I need. Um, but I don't know, maybe key side. Send me a free function generator. I'm not sure. Does my function generation have mod modulation? Well, I don't have a function generator. I have a benchtop oscilloscope. Uh, just a non benchtop oscilloscope. So I, I do have a logic analyzer. Um, this is by Celine. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And I think it's a useful tool that people should have generally in their, in their labs also. This. It's kind of expensive, but it, it, it's really, really important. And it also doubles as a. a oscilloscope over that could record a lot of data over time right um hobby knife hobby knife uh extra stuff this whole room is extra stuff i am extra stuff um some other things you might want in your lab uh electrical tape yeah uh shrink wrap i have a whole kit here um Scissors, super glue, additional work lights. Well, I have the other lights there. Um, beverage opener, rolls of wire, multi alligator clip stand and holder, which will be this, yeah. The soldering tool, yeah. Uh, stereo, well, I have the computer which acts as a stereo. That's how I play my music. Headphones, I don't. Organizing bins, well, yeah. Um, comfortable chair. I don't know what VHB tape is, I need to look into that. Notebook, scrap pad, log. Yeah. Uh, breadboards. Yeah. Um, five ohm terminators. Not sure what that is. Need to look into that. Batteries with holders and leads. That's in that drawer across there. Convenient electrical power strips. That's like all over the room. Um, tool storage cabinet with sliding drawers. Well. I'm guessing those baking pans discount as sliding drawers, hopefully. I'm not sure. 79. So my score is 68. So 60 divided by 79, multiplied by 100. That puts me at about 86%, which in my book is an A. So, um, that's going to be about it for this video. Let me know if you think this lab is uh, with an E. Um, I know it's small, but... Uh, it, I love it. I, I really, I really do love it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, this is just Baron, where I do just about anything you can do yourself. Make sure and hit that subscribe button if you like this channel. I will be having some really cool, awesome stuff coming up as I now have a proper space to work and make videos much easier. And stay tuned for for a lot of cool stuff. Also, follow me on Instagram if you want to keep very up to date because I, I generally post on Instagram at least once a day, maybe twice a day, maybe too much um, because I, it's so easier than, than just posting to YouTube. Um, but I would always try to push my YouTube because I still I still haven't gotten monetization yet because I need other ones. Um, so please do me a favor and just like play my video and just leave it running in the background if you don't want to like listen to the rest because cause I, I need those watch hours to get monetized and try to like, you know, do this full time, maybe, I don't know. Make it happen, make my dreams come true. That being said, 
This is Just Baron. Hope you enjoy it. Stay safe. Be safe. COVID is still very relevant in my country, and I hope everybody is, you know, doing their part to protect themselves and each other. So yeah, this is this is kind of how loud loud the AC is. Um, we laugh. So I'm not sure if you can hear it good, but that that's the AC. So that's why I would probably try to not use it when I'm doing videos. But um, the room already starts feeling cold. So.